Bro, let's talk about your time commitment of coaching. Okay. How big of a fucking time commitment that was. And you're, you're going to make a lot of money to finish out the year. Yeah. With significantly less time. Yeah. So it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's possible. Um, it's possible. And, and I think when we first, when I first got started, that was one of the downfalls that I realized when we first started was how much time it took away from the business. And I hadn't had enough um, built in to really be able to Let sustain it through it. Right. And I wouldn't even say that I, I would have enough at this point to, uh, yes, I do. Um, it just, I'm constantly in, in the mindset of growth. And for me, it's like my biggest downfall coaching my first year was that I didn't have enough to sustain my business. And finishing out year three, I have the the resources or whatever to sustain the business, but I, I'm not able to grow it. Because once you learn how to sustain a business, you only think about growth and being more efficient. And so, I don't know. <laughs> Time commitment, man. I mean, pretty much. Think you know, about how much more money you'll make next year. Because of the mm -hmm. time you have and the it goes more than time because it's still your shower thoughts will somewhat go into football. Yeah. Right. Those shower, those shower thoughts make you millions. Yes. Right. So yes. but all that's gone. All that mind space is clear. Mm -hmm. Now you have more shower thoughts on how to grow the company. I mean, it's it's almost like you know, I mean it's it's another job, bro. It's, yeah, I don't it care. Is. It's it another is. job. It is, and I and I love doing it. And I think, but whenever I look back on it and, and my wife, which you know, she's she's the one to say, like, you know, you know, yes, we can be more efficient with the time that we do have. But when you really look at it and be like, okay, well, what if you did have this time? And it's like, well, I get it. But like, I can't, I'm not just going to quit. No. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's just not, that's not what I do. And so um, you start thinking about what you could do with time. And then you start to think about growth and, you know, all those things. And you really start, I got to put it into perspective. It's, it's I, I have employees now, <laughs> you know, I got, you know, at the time it was just me. I was a solopreneur and, and now I had, you know, one, two, three, for the people who rely on me to constantly make sure that we're doing something five at that point, right. And make sure that we do things the right way. Um, and that we're constantly growing so that there won't come a time where I can't, you know, make sure that they're paid, you know? And so yeah. when I start looking at that, I mean, I don't think I can be a, I can't be a good boss, um, and still dedicate that much time to something other than my business. How do you think you could be? That's one thing I'm trying to think of more is how I can work less and uh -huh. make even more. Like, how can I put a constraint to our strat and you can only work for an hour a day? How are you going to make a million dollars? By completely replacing yourself. To an extent. Yeah, uh, but I love what I do. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. so like, I, do, I get you it. You do, but you love the wholesale side. Yeah, I love you the wholesale love side of it. And so for, for me, it's really, I'm not saying that I'm going to, the hours that I would get back from football that I want to take and throw into my business, like all, you know, all that time. But like, honestly, another two hours a day or just, being able to at least have my calendar open. And I tell people all the time, I love coaching football. And the hardest thing for me isn't necessarily the time that I give up, but it's it's the only thing that I'm um, that I'm committed to or it's the only thing that I'm uh, obligated to do. So if you're saying that, like, I'm not saying I'm going to spend the four hours, you know, a day on my business, but I, I will be available for four hours. And I think that's the difference. If an appointment did pop up, I can go on that appointment. Whereas right now I can't. You mm -hmm. know, yes, I gotta send someone else. Um, but then it takes time to go ahead and 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 uh train that person and just you know, I, I that's what I like to do though. So for me, it's just being being able to do something during that time because right now I'm not. I feel it. I love it. I love it. More constraint. Yeah. So I, I mean, it's, it's it's something I love to do, but like I said, it's something. It's an obligation, and in nothing in my life anymore do I have any obligation or any any any. I'm not tied to anything. Doesn't that feel good? Though? I can get up and do whatever the fuck I want to do, except during football season. Yeah. You know, I typically I can look at a calendar and be like, "Oh, let's go this day." Right now, I can't because it's like, "Oh, we got okay. If we go here, we got to come back by this time." Like, you know what I mean? So, just the freedom. That is hard. I started, it's been that way with like Zeno's school. Yeah. Bro, Zeno has, Zeno's missed like half a year of school. Cause I'm just like, I, I want to go there. Like, we're, yeah. we're going. Yeah. And it's a constraint. Yeah. And that's why we got to go to homeschool, right? Yeah. It's a, it, it's, a, it, it's a restraint to a, to an extent. Cause you can, you can still be like, I just ain't fucking sending them. I can't just not show up to football. It be, only because to me, football is life. 
And and we'd say it all the time. What did you learn from football in college and blah, blah, blah. You know, I learned to do the things that, you know, I don't always want to do. And so for me, it's showing up. You know, that's for me, football is showing up. So I, you can't just be like, you know what? I'm not going. I'm not going to go today because I don't have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? But to me, it's the message. What, what are you sending? Like if it, it's not important to you. Goes back to you. So I always say you either didn't know or you didn't care. That's the only two reasons you don't do something. You either didn't know we were practicing or you didn't care enough to get there. I like that. You, you knew didn't about know it. Or you didn't you knew about it because we have it every day, same time. But if you didn't show up, it's because it just didn't mean enough to you. Oh, that, that was a powerful one. <laughs> I'm going to start, start using that You either that don't one. know or you don't care. And if you don't know, there's no problem. We can definitely teach you how to do something. But once I teach you how to do it and it occurs again, you just you didn't care. You didn't care how it would make your teammates feel. You didn't care how it would make your coworkers feel. You didn't care. You know, you just didn't care. That's just that's, that's all it is. It's lack of information or knowledge of it or just lack of desire or care for it to happen.